This is Jim Reiser for The Hunting Public and turkey season's coming up. So I'm really excited because I have my 1962 Browning Auto 5 Sweet 16 that I'm gonna be using this year. But I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of new to the old. I've got an Aimpoint S1 scope that I'm gonna be putting on. It's a red dot sight. And um, thank you, Dory Scobie, for that. And uh, we're gonna get this thing all set up and get it ready to sight in. Okay, well, this is, the, uh, this is the scope. It's pretty small, very small profile. It's a little bit different than the H2. Now, I have an H2 on my Beretta that um, I used last year, and um, there's a link to it in the uh, corner below to that hunt in Iowa. Um, but the thing that I like about the uh, S1 is that it actually attaches right to the rail, so you don't need any special equipment or any kind of drilling. Um, each rail has a specific thing, and I'll go over a little bit of that. The other thing I really, really love about these Aimpoint scopes is that once you get the battery in, they last for five years and, uh, you know, it's, it's brainless. You know, a lot of people who wonder about battery life in any kind of, um, of a red dot scope uh, wonder no more. Um, these, are, these are the industry standard that's gold standard for, uh, for red dot scopes. So we have base plates in this little uh, package here. So we're going to measure out with the caliper um, the uh, size of the um, vent and the rail and then get started on getting this all screwed on. And once we get that in place, then we can get everything rolling to get sighted in. Okay, so the um, caliper is zeroed and now we're going to measure this. At 0.28 inches, we're right at the A and the plus one for the base plate, so we're ready to go. And since the A and the one are already installed on the, on the uh, scope, we can go ahead and um, get started on getting these uh, set up on the gun. Sweet. While I'm at it, we're going to put in the battery. And then you're going to put your battery in negative side down and just kind of pop it in there so that it gets met with all these little clips. And then the other thing that I failed to do when I first got my H2 is to really screw this on tight. So don't be afraid to uh, put some muscle in it. You're not going to break it. You want to feel that all the way nice right there tight in place. You just kind of feel a wall. You don't have to really push it pour, uh, past that. And we'll make sure everything's looking good inside here. And it's perfect. There's just something cool about those red dots that just do it for me. So our little tool is also a screwdriver and allows us to get this set up on the rail the way we want to set it up. And I just felt the screws grip the top of the rail. So we're gonna be absolutely sure that everything is lined up here in a second before we tighten them down really good. Sweet. So now I'm going to take the scope covers off and just get a basic adjustment so I know, uh, have a pretty good idea of where it is. Because the neat thing about seeing it with this so low on the profile of the rail is that you can actually see your bead in the front. So if I can get those basically lined up, I've already sighted this gun in off the bead one time. So um, if I can get everything lined up that way, uh, then we'll be styling. You also want to make sure that you don't uh, install this on any part of your ramp where your ramp is uh, profiling differently. So got a little bit of a bump in the ramp at the top here so that's why I moved it down just a touch but uh, this is gonna be sweet I'm pretty excited
So the windage adjustments are pretty much like a uh, regular uh, turning to the left goes up and it looks like turning to your left goes right. So we'll go, uh, actually I'm just going to go right right now just to get things started. And there we go. So basically we're ready to go. Uh, I've got the aim point scope on, got the gun ready to rock and roll. Um, I've shot this a few times and there's just something about a sweet 16, a 16 gauge that does it for me. So turkey season abounds and we are ready to roll.